Ladies and gentlemen, only four teams remain in the playoffs. We got the Gorillas, the Rhinos, the Knights, and the New Jersey Assassins. Now, two of these teams after this game will be in the championship. The question is, which two? Now, if I'm just picking, spitballing here, I'm guessing we are going to go ahead and beat those Rhinos like we did in episode 15. And it looks like the New York Knights might pick up a victory over the New Jersey Assassins. Don't hold me to it, but that's what I think is going to happen. But in order to make it there, we have to take it there, and we are going up against the St. Louis Rhinos. Now, like I said, this is a rematch from episode 15, so let's go ahead and get things cracking. Second down and eight now, and Barry Sanders gets taken down in the backfield by Reggie Red, Reginald White. He gets the tackle for loss. Third down and 12 after a loss of four, and they are looking but not finding a receiver open. That's gonna bring up fourth down and 12, and we will see the Gorillas get their first offensive possession of the game. First down and 10 from the 41 yard line, and that pass is gonna be complete as Figueroa catches his first one of the day. Rodgers put that ball where only his receiver can get it, and that's the way we have to do it all game long. We're going to try for a play with Gale Sayers. He's going to go backwards. It's second down and 12 now. But we got Charlie Taylor wide open on the left side of the field. And that catch is good for a first down as we move up to the 22-yard line. First and 10 now. Rodgers dropping back. He's got protection. And he also has Charlie Taylor this time on the opposite side of the field. And the Gorillas have struck first, taking a early lead, seven to nothing. But here comes John Elway and the St. Louis Rhinos as he is gonna find John Taylor with that catch over the middle. That's gonna give them a first down. Now at the 42 yard line, Elway had protection at first. He should have got rid of the ball. He does not and he runs into Reggie White once again, who is hulking up on the field only like Reggie can do. Look at that. Oh my. Took the man off his feet. He swept him off his feet, y'all. That's all, <laughs> that's all we got to say about that one. Second down and 17. Elway drops back, and he cannot connect with Taylor on that play. That's gonna bring up third down and 17 and Elway will launch one to the left side of the field. Henry Ellard with the catch, and he is Hagon. Straight to the end zone. Touchdown, St. Louis. And this game is now tied, and that is not how I seen that defensive possession going, especially after that sack by Reggie White. That is a beautiful catch, though. My man cannot get his hands on the ball, and we cannot get our hands on on the ball carrier either touchdown rhinos it is all tied up now in the playoffs and i don't like being tied in the playoffs all right uh, that's too much stress on your boy first down and 10 that is gonna make it second down and 18 as we get sacked by dan the man hampton puts us in the ground like a lawn dart and i don't like the way that's going right now all right i don't like it at all second down and 18 from the 39 yard line rogers dropping back a little too far back in my opinion but the pass is complete nonetheless that's going to be a gain of 15 as the mvp charlie taylor catches that one he's not the mvp of the league i'm just saying he's the mvp of this game so far all right don't lose me all right third down and three now pass is complete and it's been the goat coats with the catch as he goes down at the 41 yard line second down and 10 now and it looks like we gonna have somebody open hopefully and we do charlie taylor with the catch he goes down at the 21 yard line for a gain of 20. And like I just said, the MVP of this game, four catches, 78 yards, one touchdown. 
and I don't see his production slowing down at this point. That is the end of the first quarter as we are tied up here right here in beautiful digital San Diego. Now this pass is gonna be complete and I don't even know that man's name, but he caught the ball. He's one of our 86ers. And if you've been paying attention to this series, I'm telling you, these 86ers, they come to ball, all right? Every single game, first and goal. And Gail Sayers gets in, crosses the goal line, and that is a touchdown for the Gorillas. Now, in our last game, we did not have a lot of production out of Gail Sayers. This game, there hasn't been a lot of production out of Gale Sayers, all right? This defensive line has shut us down almost every time that we've touched the ball with him. Now on third down, we get the stop and we will get the ball back and we're going with Gale Sayers and he actually picked up some good yards, some good yards, all right? It wasn't great, but it was good, all right? Gain of four on the play, second down and six from the 33 yard line, Rogers dropping back. Hurry up and get rid of it is the game plan at that point because the pressure was there and it's Gail Sayers with the catch. We got to use him in some kind of way. We got him on kick returns. We got him to catch the ball for us. We got him to run the ball for us, all right? So we just got to seek out those options. But look at Charlie Taylor, man. Do not sleep. That is my man in the whole hundred grand and he will do what he needs to do out here in these football streets. First down and 10, and I don't know why he backed up like that, but it's all good. He looked like a left-hand quarterback for a second, man. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we pick up the first down nonetheless. Third down and 10 now, and that one was almost intercepted as Browner got his hands on it, but he could not secure the ball. We will settle for a field goal on fourth down. The kick is good, and that is 37 yards for Al Del Greco as we extend our lead and are now up by 10 points. But look at this, man. Henry Ellard with another amazing catch. Two receptions, 89 yards. And I don't know, man. It's just like Charlie Taylor, I don't see him slowing down in the passing game at all right now, all right? Because we can't guard him. We, we just can't do it, not at the moment. We gotta figure something else out. Pass is complete to John Taylor, and Taylor will take that for a gain of 13 and a first down to boot. First and 10 now from the 41 yard line, and they just remembered that they have Barry Sanders. And Barry Sanders takes the delayed handoff up the middle down to the 15 yard line. Now from the 13 on third and seven, Pass falls incomplete. Should have been, should have been an interception, but it's all good. It's all good. That might have been a pick six if we did get our hands on that ball. On our fourth down and seven, they will settle for a field goal. Kick is up, kick is good. 29 yards out, and this game just got a little closer, but it's all good as of right now because at the end of the first half, we are up 17 to 10, and that seven point lead is something we are holding on for dear life right now, all right? 176 yards for us total, 141 for them. We do have them in the time of possession, and we do have them on first downs, all right? We got eight to their four, and we gotta keep the pressure on as of right now, all right? There is one more half to go. And let's go ahead and get things cracking. First down and 10, toss play. And that's Gail Sayers taking that for a gain of eight yards going down at the St. Louis 48 yard line. Second down and two now. And this is what I'm talking about. Get Gail Sayers involved, get him the ball, let him do what he needs to do. Our offensive line is actually holding up some protection right now in the run game. So you gotta love seeing him do what he does. And speaking of that, man, Ben Coates catches that one as Rodgers drops it right in the window, right in the bread basket. And that's a first down for the Gorillas. And then fresh off of a first down, we catch a delay of game penalty. And it's stuff like this that will keep you out of a game. But luckily for us, 
we're not trying to get out of this game, right? <laughs> On third down and 16, pass falls incomplete. Hold, oh, Al Del Greco will settle for a field goal, and that looked like it could have been blocked, but I'm glad it was, all right? Because my man sinks it one more time. We are now up 10 points, two possessions otherwise, and we get a sack on the very next play. Loss of five, and I don't see this pressure slowing down because our defensive line is like that, to put it in short, okay? Second down and 15 now from the 21-yard line. Elway loads up, and he is going to find Henry Ellard again. And Henry Ellard is going off right now. Four catches, 120 yards, and a touchdown and my man is looking like Charlie Taylor. Or maybe Charlie Taylor's looking like him. I don't know, but I know that Rich Killian just caught that for an interception, and they gotta stop playing with my man like that because Rich Killian don't play with nobody but his own kids. You understand what I'm telling you? Look at it. Beautiful, jumps it, gets the interception. The run back was, you know, it was a little suspect, but it's an interception, it's a turnover. Nonetheless, and on second down in seven, we go up the middle with Dash, and Kylie Dash is doing his thing. He always does though, don't worry about it. Second down in 10 from the 48, and it's Charlie Taylor once again on the left side of the field, and you think at some point they would want to guard him, but I'm glad they're not, all right? Handoff goes to Gail Sayers, and Sayers has one man to beat. He didn't, he didn't beat him at all. <laughs> he tried to put the defender in the spin cycle. It, the, the spin cycle was closed, all right? But that's a beautiful handoff. The blocking was there on every level. That one man to beat, if that spin move was a little cleaner, that would have been a touchdown. But nonetheless, we are one quarter away from going to the championship game. And on first down, we get the touchdown with Ben Coates. My man had disappeared for a certain amount of games, but he shows up when he is most needed and that was certainly when he was most needed. Now, as the Rhinos get the ball, they will get a first down, second down and nine, handoff to Sanders, and Pepper Johnson introduces himself to Barry Sanders in the most aggressive way. Third down and 13 now, and the Rhinos need to pick up a first down. Woo! And they almost did. They almost got a touchdown out of the deal on that one. Fourth down and 13, four minutes and 52 seconds left to go in the game. Pass is complete to John Taylor. That's Charlie's little brother. Not really though, okay. <laughs> First down and 10 from the San Diego 46 yard line. Elway loads up, looks left and finds Henry Ellard again. Gain of nine on the play. They are now in hurry up mode. Second down and one as they get back to the line. Elway drops back, looks over the middle for a no name. And that no name also has no hands whatsoever. Third down and one and what is happening? They got Barry Sanders in their backfield, y'all. And on third and one, they're looking for a pass. I don't know, I don't know. Fourth down and five. And this may be their last chance, but it may not be. Pass is complete to John Taylor. He goes down at the nine yard line and this team is hurrying back to the line because they know the importance. They wanna go to the championship game. No touchdown on that play. Excellent defense by Wells, or maybe not. It just looked like he didn't catch the ball. <laughs> Pass is complete to Henry Ellard over the middle. Small gain on the play and they're going for a field goal. I don't know, kick is up, kick is good. They're still down by 14. I, 
I would have thought that they would have tried for a touchdown. They did not. They go for the onside kick. We recover the ball and we move on to the championship game. And I'm kind of nervous about that because if you've been paying attention to this channel, you've been keeping up with these all pro football series, then you already know that that championship game is our Achilles heel. We have not been able to pull off one championship victory since we started all pro football with uh, the Gainesville Bulls. Then we moved on to the Cincinnati Flames. And here we are with the San Diego Gorillas about to get the same opportunity. And we really, really need to lock this down and focus in because I think, no, 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 no. I know that we can win that championship game. We are gonna find out who we play in the next episode. And it is going to be absolutely glorious, man. I appreciate y'all stopping with me and rocking with me if you are new here but you like what we do here go ahead hit that like hit that subscribe ring that bell for notifications stay up to date with the content because it ain't gonna stop all right we're gonna keep pumping out more and more videos because i know y'all guys like this here digital football just like i like this here digital football man i've been me you been you and until the next time we speak <laughs> I'm out.